So I want to talk about the widget logic plugin. This is a really good plugin if you're already a developer and you're familiar with what WordPress calls conditional tags. Um, these are really cool. They're things like um, if is home, is front page, um, is page, and then you can like do IDs or slugs or is category, that kind of stuff. If you know about conditional tags and you just want an easy way to write some pseudocode around them, widget logic is great. I've already got it running here. And what it does is on all your widgets, I'm in the customizer right here. I have the ability to uh, write some essentially PHP pseudocode that uh, widget logic evaluates. So you can see here on the right side that it's not showing on my about page um, the uh, pages widget. But if I go to my home page here, it's also not showing it because you can't put semicolons in widget logic. This is an example of uh, why I don't trust uh, this sort of thing quite as much as um, some of the other ways you can control widget. Uh, displays. Uh, Jetpacks is one that comes to mind immediately. I know there's a couple other uh, widget control plugins that are a little more uh, robust than this. So widget logic is really cool if you like conditional tags. It's a pretty popular plugin, which is part of the reason we're covering it. Um, but I honestly find it a little hard to think about and use because um, of the way the logic works. But if I only want this to show on the about page and I write it this way, it'll only show on the about page. I go back to the home page and it should be grayed out because widget logic is written in a way that when you're previewing it, it like in the customizer, you're going to see it grayed out. Whereas if I close the customizer after I save that change, um, I no longer see that. So it's a really uh, interesting view. I kind of like that part of it, um, but I'm not sure that I love the idea of writing this weird pseudocode that um, requires a knowledge of conditional tags. So it's not for everyone, but it does work. Um, and it's pretty cool if you are already writing that conditional tags and want to have that fine grain control that some of the more uh, UI based options don't have. So if you're on YouTube, like and subscribe because that's how we get more subs. Cheers.